What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? In this game, we have Maya Mai in blue as the Ayubids spawning in the east. And in the west, we have Beastie in yellow as the Japanese. We have Beastie sending out one of his villagers already going for an early dock in the middle of the map in Himeya. Hime Hime Crap. I forgot the name of the map. Oh, yeah. Himeyama. Sorry about that. I completely forgot to, forgot the name of the map for a second there. <laughs> uh, so we do have the dot coming down for Beastie on. Uh, yeah, I guess that'd be the best place or he could have put it up here. It's going to be a little bit easier to scout for his uh, for the Ayubids player since it is going to be on essentially uh, Maya's side of the map. There's a little line, invisible line that gets drawn down the middle. But all is well. Over here, first house goes down. I do have to click on the House of Wisdom every so often, though, to tell when they're going to be doing an age up because the caster UI is still bugged to where it doesn't tell us a UBIDs or tell us, uh, alert us when a UBIDs are aging up, what they're aging up with, or anything like that. I hope in the next patch they do give it a fix. I highly doubt it. I don't think that they'll be fixing anything of the sort for a while as for our japanese player keep in mind the boats are at a reduced a reduced cost for uh for the fishing boats that is not all boats just the fishing boats instead of the 75 wood it is at 45 with their civ bonus so he'll be able to get the three or four fishing boats that he wants out quickly and then be able to swap over to his gold a little sooner and to aging up a little sooner compared to other civilizations that do go for dock play like this for it um like right now for instance so all he did was clear out the first entire oh no he cleared out two wood lines in order uh to get the boats that he needs or not wood lines the two straggler trees and now he's going for his forge he's gonna have five on there to catch up on the gold required to age up he is going to be stopping at four boats. It's not that big of an investment as it would be for other civilizations, as mentioned before. Egypt is coming through for our Agubids player. He is going to be going for the economic wing growth, which grants three villagers and 50 additional food. So he is going to be going for a little bit more of an eco boost or an eco play, most likely into a fast castle with advancement which increases or decreases age up cost by 40 percent or i mean uh, increases age up uh speed let's just read it exactly how it is advancing to the next age takes 40 percent less time and has its resources reduced i'm not entirely sure if that's um if the 250 less resources scales or if it's just a flat 250 we'll check after the age up comes through for Maya Mai. The food, on the other hand, for our Japanese player is going to be skyrocketing very shortly, as well as Beast or Beastie is as is going for his age up as well for get uh for our constructing the Kura storehouse for him. Very rarely are we seeing the Koka, uh the Koka Township for the Shinobi. I think that's a very niche. A very niche landmark only for specific civilizations and all honesty and we do have the first tier of the tuara upgrade coming through right now as well lumber camp coming down still five on wood i mean excuse me five on gold so for me what that signifies is he's going to be attempting to go for a fast castle instead of for a feudal plane because at this point Usually you would want to pull off maybe uh, two of your villagers from gold, switch them over to stone in order to get your uh, daimyo. But with five on there, you're going to be getting a lot of gold and you're also going to be increasing your, obviously you're going to be increasing your stone uh, income just at a slower pace. Now with the Tawara upgrade, I like to mention this as much as I can to get uh, to get it out there to as many players as I can as well. The Tuara upgrade increases your uh, 
not only your gather rate of berries, it increases your villager movement speed by 7%, your gather rate of berries by 7%, but it also increases your carry capacity by three. The game rounds up. Remember you, as Japanese, one of their civ bonuses is you get 20% of your gold or stone into the other one. So when you drop off 10 gold, you get two stone. With the Tuara upgrade, you drop off 13 gold. And as you can see right there, you get three stone back and it's vice versa, of course. He is going for his, t uh, his tier two now, Takazaiku, which further increases it by three, carry capacity by three. So then instead of the 13, he's going to be dropping off 16. And then the game rounds uh, rounds down from there. So it's going to be to the closest integer. So it's not going to increase it uh, any further from the three. You're still going to be dropping off three as your 20%. Meanwhile, over here with our U-Bids, we see the stables down. He's going to be going for the Desert Raider. Very versatile unit. It is considered a light ranged and melee unit because oh and there goes the little camera skip again sorry you're able to switch between melee and ranged with this unit like i said it's extremely versatile you could go into the range uh go into ranged do a little bit of harass pick off a few villagers uh that are a little too close to the tc for melee but far enough for you to do damage to them with your ranged barracks coming down for beastie at the front of his uh front of his base we're going to start seeing most likely samurai getting printed out from here or produced from here. First villager potentially going to be going down for our Japanese player. Yes, he does. And that was a really, really nice swap right there. That was an amazing swap by Maya Mai. Goes in, gets a couple hits in as a, uh, a melee unit. And as soon as he notices that the, the villager was within TC range, he swaps over to the bow so he's able to pick it off get those last few hits in before it uh becomes completely out of range he did still take some tower shots or excuse me some tc shots perfectly worth it though and that was an extremely good use of that dual the dual attack essentially or the dual mode that it does have the four uh the four docks in the middle are still completely uncontested nice little Aggression coming through nice little harassment coming through still with that single desert rider. I don't believe we have no We do not have a second one out in play yet Okay, that's just the scout and as I said he beastie is going for the fast castle He has eight throwing down the floating gate right now two stables behind this which means he's gonna be going for the bannerman and most likely uh, mounted samurai as well he doesn't have the stone quite yet for the daimyo upgrade though i would like for him to swap over three or four villagers to stone since it's fairly close to one another the stone to the forge a little bit of a walk distance but he does have that 14 percent increased uh movement speed on his villagers age up does come through for our japanese player horse two horsemen are out in order to push away the desert raider and we do go we do get the bazaar coming through for our aobits player as well a lot of units just came through right now we have five skirmishers currently out in play at the moment plus a desert lancer and a um a desert lancer coming through and then the desert raider already on the field another forge coming through the first Yoshido is okay. The first Yoshido is placed inside of the forge. The second one is going to be placed in the other forge as well. He's not really going for the um, the eco, the little eco boost with his villagers. This is something that I like doing. I like swapping uh, one or my first two uh, Yoshido. One will go into the TC, get that 25% villager. Uh, production rate increase and then the second one will go into either a forge or a farmhouse depending on what's being harassed if it's my food that's being harassed then i'll drop one inside of the farmhouse 
if it's my gold, then I'll put one inside of, um, no, excuse me. I said that backwards. <laughs> um, it's whatever I could secure, right? So I'll drop one usually inside of the forge though, because the gold is a lot more beneficial in the long run. Anyways, nice little attack coming through right here. Two mounted horsemen, uh, or two mounted si uh, samurai, a horseman, but still no bannerman. Where are you, Mr. Bannerman? There is one out. I think he's just, yeah, he's still chilling in the back. The Uma bannerman. A little bit of, uh, I don't think Beastie was able to get any kills, but he did lose both of his horsemen that he had with this army. Attempted run by over here. Going to be able to grab one villager, a second villager. Is he going to be able to get a third? Nice little charge off on the scout. He's going to be able to get a fifth villager. Five villager total have been killed by our Japanese player. Meanwhile, our Ubits has been able to take two. In uh, in beastie fashion, popping the Wololo just to try to distract his opponent as best as he can. These mounted horsemen are putting in quite a bit of work here at the moment. A lot of idle time what was at 15 villagers idled from the gold because of those three mounted horsemen. Meanwhile, four traders have been summoned by our Ayubids player. That's going to be quite a distance, too. That's a really, really nice. Nice trade distance. Again, back over here at the other gold. Another villager is going to potentially go down as well as a, as well as a, a camel lancer. That's going to be three horse. I mean, excuse me, three mounted samurai and the Uma bannerman that are going to be wreaking havoc on the western side of the base of our Aobids player base. In the back, he does have a camel. Uh, Maya Mai does have a camel raider or excuse me. A camel lancer raiding uh, the stone and the gold of our Japanese player. There are so many alerts going off right now. Another little mil uh, mild skirmish on the eastern side of our Japanese player's base. Back at back at our Aobid's home, these mounted samurai are putting in a lot of work. They get a few more villager kills, total of nine. Another little skirmish popping off of the, down here at the southern side where Aobid's was able to pick off a Shinto priest. Okay, so the Shinto priest up here at the north was getting attacked by a wolf. Nothing really too drastic going on there. And that is a Uma banner uh, that has fallen or bannerman that has fallen. These mounted samurais are going to be able to clean up the desert raiders and the camel lancers that were attempted attempting to do a little bit of a run by some more harass. At the moment, Beastie is sitting on 45 villagers to his opponent's 44 but that is after Beastie has already killed a total of nine villagers, as where Maya has killed a total of three, uh, a total of three villagers from Beastie. Nine military, uh, nine military supply for our Japanese player. Eight horsemen, three Shinto priests, and a bannerman, Uma bannerman, will be coming up. As where for our Aobids, we have three camel lancers, four camel lancers now, and four swordsmen. Yes, 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 yes. Now we see outposts coming up for our Aobits player. First mine, uh, or I mean, first gold vein has been completely mined out. He is now going to be securing his second. I would like to see potentially one more, uh, at minimum, one more outpost getting placed at this gold since he has so many villagers there. He has a total of 26 villagers on this gold for one outpost wolves and mounted samurai are going to be attacking the eastern side of the map picking off more and more villagers he's lost one already loses a second third one going down there was an attempted run by on the uh on beasties base it gets cleaned up fairly quickly these four mounted samurai are going to be able to leave not completely unscathed though and the traders are finally making their first rotation so it's a uh, it's 43 gold that's not bad what is that 86 gold uh total for the trip and now he has eight yeah eight traders maya mai has eight trade uh, active traders at the moment that's going to be a decent chunk of gold that he's going to be getting but that's not what he needs at the moment that is a good amount of mounted samurai attacking the 
the Aobids gold base right now. Good charge comes off. Three villagers go down. Four, five. Beastie is attempting to micro his way into the middle of the pack in order to pick off even more villagers. Another three, four have gone down a total of 21 kills. He is just microing his little heart out, trying to grab as many potential kills as he can. 27 total villagers have went down and more are falling. They're getting mixed. They did get mixed up into the fight for a moment there. A few villagers were sent back to the gold preemptively. One has gone down. Two more potentially will be going down. Beastie is taking this fight so easily. Even with that 20% damage reduction that they give, Wololo is going off in the back. GG gets called. Game goes to Beastie. Whew. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.